from San Jose, California, in the heart of Silicon Valley, it's theCUBE, covering Hadoop Summit 2016, brought to you by Hortonworks. Here's your host, John Furrier. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Silicon Valley in San Jose for Hadoop Summit 2016. I'm John Furrier, this is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal to noise. Our next guest is uh, Kerry James, Big Data Solutions Director at EMC, and Steven Schartz, Schartz, Schartz or VP of Worldwide Sales, Blue Talent. Sorry about that. Yeah, no worries. I think I got it wrong last time too, but it's, you know, it's like day two, long, long days of interviews. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we just talked earlier about your sure. ecosystem, other two partners, uh, yep. Tiffany, Tivio and uh, Tivio and um, Zaloni. Zaloni. Yeah. How do these guys fit in? So um, Blue Talent for us is so we talked about a Tivio and Zaloni, right? Finding data, managing data, getting data into the system. For us, Blue Talent comes in and says, okay, now that we got this data in the system, we got to be able to allow people to access this data but in a governed and secure manner, right? So people can't see payroll data, they can't see payroll data. If I'm not a user that can see all nine digits of social security number, I want to be able to mask that information where it comes into. And again, right, so we know there are things inside the Hadoop ecosystem that allow you to do parts of that. Again, for us, the ecosystem play is bigger than just Hadoop. We got to be able to apply those same rules and same governances across um, security and access to data, whether I'm using MongoDB, whether I'm using Cassandra, whether I'm using Hadoop, whether I'm using Spark or MapReduce or Hive, whether I'm utilizing um, Green Palm databases, um, or even Oracle databases in the old days, right? So, yeah. Um, so security is key. We heard from uh, Tivio talking about the APIs, having yep. data being open. Open data is the only way to have a great observation space. Yes. By opening it up, Stephen, you potentially have a security surface area is monstrous. Yes, exactly. And What's that's one of the things that Blue Talent brings to the table. So we're data-centric security um, that has access control, as uh, uh, Casey uh, said, uh, across multiple different platforms. So we can get really precise down to row, column, cell, and partial cell without any data duplication and without uh, by being Ac um, agnostic to the application and to the database. So it gives them a lot of flexibility. Now, this is a surveillance, cyber surveillance, but threat detection, all these things going on. Most people find out that they're in the data before even anyone even knows it. Does this help that problem? I mean, how does it help us squint through that? Absolutely. So you've heard a lot about old breaches that have happened lately. A lot of the breaches have been stolen identities. And uh, one identity where they get 76 million credit cards and therefore you're over-provisioning uh, the rights to see sensitive information. Blue Talent can get really, really precise and eliminate and mitigate that risk to over-provisioning and, and eliminate the, the threat for someone accessing that information. And what does this mean for EMC? Talk about the impact of customers. Sure, so the impact for customers to us, again, right, as we go back into it, is we've seen it where we have customers that have, and they've spent years building governance um, teams and policies. They have probably pretty good governance around their ADWs, around their transactional systems. As they move to the analytics space, that started kind of to break down a little bit, right? And then it, again, right, so if I move stuff into Hadoop, into HDFS, into that ecosystem, there are tools that have been evolving around helping secure that environment. But again, I've got multiple tools in the ecosystem, and do I have to make sure that I create the right security policies in every single place? And if I forget to update one of those policies, then that's where I start to open up the you know, security breaches and data access breaches. And again, that's where Blue Talent comes into us and multiple reasons. One is that we can, they, they're an enforcement policy function, right? So they're a security policy engine that allows us to create the policy once and enforce it at multiple access points. So again, as Stephen said, agnostic to the tool trying to access the data, it goes to the policy enforcement and we pro apply the same policy whether you're reading it from a Spark job, a MongoDB job, or if you're actually reading the data directly off of the Ativio index. So that's the one piece of security for us too. The other piece we do with this is we've actually integrated Blue Talent into the shared storage that we utilize behind our ecosystem to kind of help prevent exactly what you're talking about, that dirt road access to data where they're bypassing our access security, we've now blocked that dirt road, right? We put we put up patrol points on that block road, or on that dirt road, to help, again, control access to the information to you know, stop data exfiltration and breaches of information. What's the level of relationship, Stephen, with EMC on this? How did this all come together, um, and uh, how, we've how deep is it? We've been working with them for 
for a long time and, and really understanding the platform and, and the solutions that they're trying to bring to the table. Uh, and as um, Casey was mentioning about how we protect the storage system, this is a really, really key important thing because HEFS uh, out on Isilon is, is key and any performance degradation is important because Isilon is all about high performance and Blue Talon has proven to be extremely high performance with no per performance degradation. So you don't impact performance. That is That's absolutely a huge correct. concern. That is a huge concern. So we're doing Normally all- overhead involved in security is high. How do you guys do that? So we do a lot of different things. Number one, we don't duplicate the data. And number two, we actually only bring back the results that's, that's important to the query. So if someone's doing a select star from accounts, instead of getting thousands of accounts, they're only going to get exactly what they need to do their job. So our performance is really, really good. And the one story we heard at EMC World this year, which was fantastic, was ransomware. You guys have an interesting ransomware solution. Do you guys see that at all? you prevent that at all? Well, what we can do is our full audit trails. We're tracking everything that people are doing what time people are coming in, what data they're actually accessing, what policies they're hitting, and then we can provide and, and, and provide this data in real time to their SIM systems. And, and the they customers are happy? Oh, customers are extremely happy. Yeah, Share happy. some color on the customer situation. Um, so we actually have a little casino down in Southern California, right? We've actually put this into place, and so it's now allowed them to, they were worried because they actually have a lot of player information, a lot of financial information yeah. in that player data, so they were, they were not able to actually build out a lot of use cases to take advantage of that information because they didn't want to run the risk of exposing their their, their customers' financial information. So now utilizing the Blue Talent in that ecosystem, we're able to allow them to, again, store the data. In some cases, we obfuscate the data on the way in, so we actually go ahead and tokenize certain things we don't want to be readable. But by proving that we actually have the in-flight security accesses that users can't, you know, can't pull back more data than they're authorized to see, plus with the audit trail capabilities, and that's where we start to build that whole lineage model. So with Zoloni Ativio, I can show you Zoloni how we got data into the system. With the Blue Talon, we can show you what people did with the, how they access the data on the back end. And again, that's one of the huge integrations for us in the technical integration space. We're talking about the metadata, right? It's that metadata, so we actually have that one complete picture. Now as an ecosystem, we have a complete picture of how we got data, where was the process, what was done to it, and then how was it accessed and who accessed it. So we start to be able to provide information. We, you know, just announced, we're not announced yet publicly, a large bank in the UK, that that was one paramount to this piece was the security and the audit capability. And this doesn't impact real time at all. This actually helps that real time scenario. Absolutely. To move so the data lake, the info from the data lake into real time. As a matter of fact, we're actually helping with that. So we are dynamic. So if someone's standing in the UK and there's certain governance and compliance that needs to be enforced, we're doing that. But now all of a sudden- On the fly? On the fly, in real time. And if they move to the US, those governance and compliance will change dynamically on the fly. Your customers must be really happy with this, with this kind of capability, yeah? Huh? Um, they it's are, a good right? solution. It's a good solution. Like I said, we're starting to break down the barriers, right? Again, back to that whole piece, companies are, have been trying to do this on their own for a while, trying to be their own SIs, right? And they find that, yes, while they get through these pieces, there's a lot of, you know, I can get it to work once, but there's a lot of work involved to keep it progressing forward. And so again, with the great ecosystem we've got, with the great partners we've got, and all working together at that technical integration layer, and all buying into the ecosystem that allows us to provide you know, easy access to our customers. And again, right back to the whole piece, the simplicity of it is we provide the Blue Talon, the Ativia, the Zoloni, and the EMC capabilities all in one set that makes it easy to consume information, and it actually also simplifies that access to the data, but we now give IT, right, the fear that they've had is that if I open this up and I put all this stuff into my own one storage silo or storage you know, position, that I open up for the wild, wild west, and I start the ability to not stop data exfiltration, ability to stop, not stop disgruntled people from seeing data they shouldn't see. So with that whole piece now, we've got the ease of use of this. So financial services sector is really taking off for us. Um, actually, the interesting one, the one for us that's becoming big too is utilities and the energy sector um, because they need a lot of this information because they're pulling a lot of private data off of these um, smart meters that they need to be able to secure, be able to use, but without the ability to secure it, it's, it sits in their data lake stagnant without being able, you know, with Security, no value. Security is the key. Congratulations, Gary. Steve, it's great to have you on theCUBE again. Thank Good you. to see you. Um, ecosystem's booming with EMC.
glad to be part of it. All right. Yeah, the integration is the key. Security, obviously, table stakes as well. This is theCUBE here live in Silicon Valley for Hadoop Summit 2016. We'll be right back with more live coverage after this short break.